March 1st, Entrepreneur Day on campus at San Diego State. It's our third year in a row out here. We've got a lot of selection to sell to the students. Here's all the prototypes. This is the first tread light ever here. It's a duct tape flashlight onto a bracket that we got water jetted on campus. All the way down the line to the light that we have today. Try selling it to get feedback from the potential customers. So for episode 5, I'm going to be taking on a challenge from Andrew. Andrew's my friend that's studying abroad in Scotland right now, and he challenged me to write a letter to a friend or family member every day for two weeks. These will be handwritten letters that I'm actually going to mail out to them. So I sent out the letter to my mom today. Today's a new day, so I'm going to write a new letter. I'm writing a letter to my nephew Mason, who's two and a half. I'm gonna let him know I'm thinking about him. Got the letter written. Mason's getting into skating, so I'm getting a bunch of skate stickers. Oh, okay. Can you open it? It's running. I'm not gonna move it at all, Eric. Should I just leave it still? No way I could have started Shred Lights without the Zip Launchpad. They provided me with a 3D printer to build my first product, an engineer to help me design the product, and they allowed me to connect with tons of other like-minded students that gave me tips and tricks to start my business. The Zip Launchpad was founded by an entrepreneur named Erwin Zahn. Erwin is an entrepreneur himself. After running a business for 57 years, he finally sold it. With the money he made, he decided to start a new foundation, the Moxie Foundation, that encourages students to become entrepreneurs. In the theme of this episode, I'm going to write Erwin a letter thanking him for giving students like me this opportunity. 34 minutes in, Bozeman's got 120 votes, and we only got 60. Bozeman won this thing last year, so this is going to be a tough round, but I think we can do it. We just got to keep hustling and getting as many votes as possible. Woke up a little early before class today so I can get some shred lights orders ready to go out. Pretty cool, check it out, this order is going over to Singapore. From San Diego, boom, to Singapore. I just leave all my packages in here. I can head to class. While I'm at class, my mail lady Lisa from USPS will come pick up all the packages and ship them out all over the world for me. It's Wednesday, March 8th, 2017. I think today's gonna be a good day. Hi, we're here for the 920 show. Hi, right, come on in. Thank you. Oh, it's crazy. Uh, I don't know how we got on here, but I'm stoked. We can all help you vote, yes. right? That's yes, what you guys need. Yes, exactly. Yes. Okay. We're down by a little bit right now, so we can really use the help. Okay. Red Hot Chili Peppers!
That's me waving the white flag. Last night while I was at the concert, Montana State got both judges votes in the Red Bull competition, giving them 20% and an 800 vote lead. While we haven't lost yet, it's probably too much to come back from and voting ends at 10 p.m. tonight. I'm actually not that bummed about losing. I didn't even think we'd make it to the top four. We went out there, we made a couple six edits. We got all of our friends and family and all the other kids from our school to support us and share it like crazy. That was really cool to see how much support we could really get. And we got on the news. I can't believe we got on the news. I got to watch myself snowboard on the news and get interviewed about it. I never thought that would happen. I'm never gonna be a pro snowboarder. I'll never have that opportunity again. So at the end of the day, who cares if I lost? I won in my book. Hats off to you, Montana State. You guys killed it and you beat us fair and square. Good job. Good luck in the finals. So last night we had a pretty big party at our house. Let's see the aftermath. Some beer bottles. What up, man? Dirty as hell. We just wrapped shooting today on a class project where I'm the editor. It's due next Tuesday, so I have one week to do all the editing. I'm going tomorrow to shoot another project. It's about a six hour shoot. The final product's gonna be an hour long, and this is a paid project, so I have to get it to them as soon as possible. This is a, on top of a full load of class that I have every week, or every day. And then here is all the different homework that I have to do for different tests and projects that I have to edit. Not to mention shred lights, which has been getting neglected lately because I've been so busy with school. I still have to do all this. This week is going to be a challenge of Eric and how strong I can really be. Open up more relationships and closing more sales. So there I was working with you at one of the largest companies in the world. And they were selling to the largest company in the world, Walmart. So out here on campus, Tony Hawk's about to guest speak. <laughs> Just bombarded him before the show and gave him a pair of shred lights. He was pretty stoked. He's messing with talk. them right now. Yeah, he's playing he with them like right now. Now, the irony of that is now skate parks resemble urban landscape. Now skate parks look like a place. Wednesday, March 15th. It's the last day of episode five of the vlog. Just doing this vlog at all is a challenge on top of all the stuff I'm already involved in. So adding a challenge into the vlog every two weeks is super hard to keep up with. So I wasn't able to write a letter every day, but tonight I'm gonna catch up and write about nine letters. So let you go out to one a day, even though it wasn't actually one every day. 